my magic potion. God, I'm scared to open this bag. That's, that's amazing. I was driving like a man and I crashed. How? <laughs> How? What up peeps, welcome back to another episode and today I am filming a video that has been on my list of videos to do for a very long time and I've never had the opportunity to do it until now because I have the Cyrusha Nitro and this is a powerful 1000 watt mid-drive e-bike that is on my website and one of you can win it for £1.49 Obviously, I cannot ride this bike legally on UK roads so I'm in my mate's back garden today and I'm testing out the durability of UK coffee cups. So we've got Greg's, McDonald's, Costa Coffee, Starbucks, all of the main chains, and you will not believe the results. Stick around in this video to find out more and to see who has the best coffee cups out of them all. But before we get into today's episode, let me tell you all about the Cyrusha Nitro. This is a 4,000 pound e-bike. It has a mid-drive 1,000 watt Bafang motor kicking out 160 newton meters of torque. We've got massive 26 by four inch tires. They're absolutely huge. Mid air sprung suspension. We've got front suspension forks that feel like a motocross bike. Hydraulic brakes front and rear. It is a beast of an e-bike. Bike. and one of you are gonna have the chance to win this for 149. Let's get into today's episode and see what this bike's all about. My magic potion, it's just water with some food coloring. Costa coffee, 400 milliliters. All right, so McDonald's, they use one of their uh, normal lids underneath the coffee lid. So uh, I think that's quite effective. 350, so Costa was 400. McDonald's 350, 350. Cool. All right, that's the last one done. Greg's. All right, so all of the coffees have been filled up. McDonald's 350 milliliters. And we've got Starbucks, also 350 milliliters. Greg's 350 again. Just uh, seal it how they would in the shop. Keep it nice and upright. And lastly, which is the biggest one, Costa Coffee, 400 milliliters, so 50 milliliters more. We did have Cafe Nero, uh, but I don't have enough space in the bag. So I'm just gonna be sticking with Costa, McDonald's, Starbucks, and Greg's. And let's see who has the best coffee lids out of these companies. All right, now I've had this video idea written down for a very long time. And yes, I ordered loads and loads of coffees the other day and only one of them spilled, which was the Cafe Nero. Uh, so I'm already ruling out Cafe Nero, even though it's not in my bag. I just couldn't fit it in there. Now I have to remember that they're in my bag and I'm gonna be putting them through the harshest uh, riding environment that I possibly can. And I'm on this nice little trail and I'm hoping to do a bit of off-roading as well. This bike is super, super comfortable with its 26 by four inch tires. The suspension is crazy. Like this, if anything, it's, it's helping out this test because not every delivery rider has a bike with front and mid suspension. All right, I'm just gonna forget about the drinks in my bag. Just gonna go along with it, see what happens. So I believe we've got 10 gears on this bike and with a thousand watt motor, you can easily get up to 30 miles per hour. And this bike is uh, quite different because when you change gears, it basically changes the motor speed as well. So it's like connected to the mid drive. And this is the first mid drive e-bike that I've ever ridden before. And with this bike being four grand, I mean, I've never been on a bike like this before. I've ridden some bikes in the past, like Reese and Muller and but they haven't been like as extreme and crazy as this bike is. A thousand watt mid-drive Bafang is crazy. Let's put the speed up and see how these coffees survive. Ooh. Chains don't change like it used to. Who runs the roost round here? The coot's gone clear. Got the heart from the base to the snare, but the word is what's keeping them here. Word to my peers. The work don't start till the top. Think it's resting, but we're not. I spread the message and it's love. I get. Whoa! Spike has got some really good, good speed. Okay. Not the herb is what I'm on. Shouts go out to mums. Oh my god. This one is the icy one. Go get the long jumps. 50 prep in London if it's on, then I'm on. I know they feel it when I spit. 
it's like the Missy song. Okay, this is a good test for the uh, incline of this bike. So bloody easy to get up here. Open your mind. Why do they talk like gangsters? Why they don't move like gangsters? Why do they walk like gangsters? Now I'll be very surprised to see how much coffee is left in each of these cups. McDonald's are no notoriously known to spill. Starbucks are pretty good, but I think it depends on what McDonald's that you pick up from. It's so windy today. Tell your favorite rapper that I'm here not to clash, I'm gonna collab a lot this year. Maxing out the bang, don't need no gloves or mask for that. I got this yapper here. These are with the tracks they want to hear. Where's my Been this way for years. Still they send the messages in bottles. Now I'm not gonna be going like super crazy off-road because it defeats the object. No delivery driver is gonna be going off-road unless you live in the countryside. So I am uh, just going over terrain where it is a bit bumpy. London is known for its potholes. So I think this is a, a good uh, test. It's a fair test. So I wanted to ask you guys that uh, order coffees in the morning. What one spills the most for you? I find every time I order Greg's, it always spills. So I'm interested to see how Greg's holds up. I can't feel any liquid coming out of the bag right now, but Spartan Pack bags are known to uh, holding liquid really well. And look, I'm no means a off-road rider. No one judge my off-road riding skills. Oh, that was a big bump. So let's talk more about the Cyrusher. Now I'd love to keep this bike, don't get me wrong, but I don't have the use for it, nor do I have the space to store it. And obviously I want to give you guys at home the opportunity to win great prizes at a very uh, affordable price, £1.49, 99p. There has been six winners so far on my website and the latest winner, Glenn, won the new. And yeah, it's just uh, something nice that I've set up. You don't have to enter, completely up to you. Um, but yeah, one lucky person will win the bike for 149. Good representation of London's potholes. Whoa. Oh, that was a big bump. God, I'm scared to open this bag. <laughs> oh, what? They all stayed upright, bro. Oh, okay, yeah, we have got some some spill on the Greggs. All right, so all of them were 350 milliliters apart from Costa. All right, so I'm gonna start with Greggs. Oh, whoa, no way. Okay, I weren't expecting that. We lost literally like, like 10 mil. All right, next up. I'm intrigued with McDonald's because that is the most well packaged. You know what? I think this is going to be better than the Greggs. Still up there. Man, my expectations would uh, have definitely changed. It's literally still 350. Tiny, tiny bit spilt. All right, let's go with Starbucks. Okay, yeah, this one has leaked quite a bit. Yeah, and the lid. The lid was off. You know what? I, I was expecting these to go everywhere. So their lids are quite good as well. They are... That's lost about 20 mil. Yeah, so that's lost the most out of them three so far. All right, now for the biggest and best packaged out of uh, the four is Costa. So they use like this foil lining. Um, and when I got this delivered, it actually was the best one. Uh, Cafe Nero was the worst. Yeah, look at that. Spot on. We haven't lost anything. And I was driving like a nutcase as well. Yeah, I weren't even like, I can't believe this. So why is it when I deliver coffee normally? Maybe because there was more stuff in it. Should we do one last experiment where you put one in there? Do the worst one. Yeah, I think so. All right, so out of those four coffee shops, Costa has the best packaging. We've still got literally every single drop. So what I'm gonna do now is take the worst three, which is Starbucks, Greggs, and McDonald's, but I'm gonna take them out in the bag alone and see what one holds up the best. I think that's the best way to see who has the best coffee cups. Let's do it. Let's do how most riders do it. Let's put it in the bag and hope for the best. Let's go. 
God, I don't have a good feeling about this. Now I'm only doing this because I packaged all of the coffees together. So they was all supporting themselves, each other, sorry. So I think this is a more fair test of the last three, McDonald's, Greg's and Starbucks. This time, real off-roading. Oh. oh! Shit! What happened there? That was absolutely crazy. All right, let's see how this held up, even after nearly crashing. Oh, shit! That's not a good start. That is not a good start. Uh, yeah. Oh, lid, lid. Lid, lid, stop. I'm really surprised though, man. Look at that. Look at that. What's that? That's a chicken. So yeah, the Greg's cups. Even though it's got a little hole on it. That's, that's amazing. I was driving like a man and I crashed. All right, I think what I'm going to do is put the last two Starbucks and McDonald's in the same bag. because My foot's killing and there's still going to be enough space for them to move around and let's do it. All right, so Starbucks is full up again. We're just going to eyeball it this time. I'm not going to do the whole measuring thing. Sealed in the cup holder bags a bit worse for wear but it will do take out the greg's stick in the starbucks similar amount to starbucks yeah nice we are sealed in there nice and snug starbucks mcdonald's ready round two hopefully i don't crash this time let's go It's killing me. Oh man, this bike is so much fun. I'm coming here in the summertime. My mate said uh, his family are fine with it. I am not going on there again. I'm gonna go a bit further up this time. I can't believe Greg's, Greg's and Costa so far have the best coffee cups. Costa, they've got that nice thin layer of foil. And Greg's, I don't know, it's just something about their cups and the lids. They fit in really, really well. Do a little bit of off-roading just to make it a bit more fair because I did go off-road with the Greg's one, even though I crashed. Well, almost crashed. Now, I do think the suspension is playing a big part in this test. Like I said, not everyone has middle, uh, middle suspension. Slow down for the doggy. Okay, now I don't have a good feeling about the McDonald's one, especially on the McDonald's one. But it looks like it survived. What is going on? Okay, I mean, that's like basically where I filled it to. Let's check the uh, McDonald's one. Solid, solid. This hasn't spilled at all. So, what's the conclusion? That they're actually better than we thought. A lot better than... So, could it be down to the packaging, like, because not every McDonald's does that. So out of all of them, what's the worst? What's the worst one? Then Starbucks is pretty bad. Yeah, Starbucks was pretty bad. Yeah. You know what? This is a video, this is why I haven't filmed this video, because I knew this was gonna happen. The amount of spillages I've had out on the road. Or it just shows that this thing is like... <laughs> yeah, it shows the suspension is amazing on this thing. Um, I'm going to do this test again in a couple of weeks time when it's a little bit warmer. What, and do it on the road? Yeah, I think I'll do it on the road, in on my moped this time. So I think, yeah, because 
my mate's gone on holiday and he's, uh, his dad said I can't use his back garden. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing it on the road. All of them are quite good. When I had the deliveries made last week on the 27th, Cafe Nero was the only one that went everywhere. Um, I've tried my best to replicate the on-road deliveries with potholes and stuff. It's probably this bike, the suspension's so good. And yeah, we've still got coffee in the cups. Um, bit of a random video, I hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you want to be in with a chance of winning this exact e-bike right here for £1.49, you can head over to the website londoneats.net and get some tickets. The draw is going to take place this month and it's going to be on Instagram Live. So if you want to join the list of winners, don't forget to head over and grab your tickets. It's a fantastic e-bike and I would love to keep it, but I don't have the space and I feel like others may enjoy it a lot more than me because I live in London, I don't have access to off-road trails and stuff. Um, but yeah, solid e-bike, gutted about this uh, experiment, but don't worry, I'll be doing it again soon. Take care people, peace. I was about to drink this then, definitely not drinking it.